Welcome to Dungeon Painter Studio tutorial. Today we will be looking at creating a dungeon using basic objects and then union them together to create one single complex. This is a nice and quick easy way of building a dungeon up. Uh, it's very quick, it's very effective and it can save you a lot of time in planning things out. So I've got Dungeon Painter Studio up. I'm actually going to zoom out slightly because it would be uh, easier on a much larger dungeon uh, to show you this so quick and easy we just draw the rooms on that we want roughly where we want them maybe we want a, um, a circular room maybe we want a odd shaped room whatever reason okay and then of course we then want to put um, corridors to join them together Maybe we don't quite like what, like what we've got there. We can tweak it and change it. We can go into the select tool. We can move things up and down. Okay, and we can reposition just how we want. Or make easy changes, because at the moment they're just single objects. Maybe for instance, this one here, we want to have that slightly larger. Let's say 10 foot. So it's easy to change that at this point in time. So now we've done this, um, we've got our dungeon, we've got our complex. The problem being is if we then want to add walls, so I've take the ellipse for example, right click, add wall, as you can see, that don't look too bad. And then we select the, the uh, wall next to it, right click, add walls. Ah, now you can see the problem we're having. Yeah, because they're single entities, when you add a wall, the wall goes round that individual entity. So the best way to sort this out is let's just delete our existing walls now you can select multiple um, objects by right clicking them so by clicking them holding the control key down and then select remove if you're unsure what's going to be removed you can always hide it yeah before you remove it yeah and you do get the little shapes around it saying what's going to be removed anyway so it gives you bit of an idea so once you've created your shape and you're happy with it then the next trick is to just highlight two items start at the bottom start at the top doesn't really matter and then go over to the union now the union is under the movie scape so union a plus b plus c so if you union those uh, that i think union only works on what well, i don't think you can do multiple objects at the same time well yes you can so we could in fact go control A, potentially. I know, just I like them all, I should say. And then union. And with what we in fact we end is we end up with a single object now. Um, why is that a good idea? Well, like I said, if we go right click now, add wall, we get a single wall all the way around. And in fact, we've now got three wall objects. So we've got the inner wall here, the inner wall here, and the outer wall or going all the way around uh, that's the big advantage and the quick way of doing your unions and of course once you've done that you can then right click open source tool you may say well let's change the effect maybe you want some flagstone instead right click uh, feel selected and then maybe say well we don't like the wall so you know, right click open source tool Mm, don't like either of those two we'll go to here and let's see how it looks with that one mm, doesn't look quite right let's try a slightly lighter one yeah I think that looks much better so we can select multiple ones and go right click fill selected now we've got our walls we can go effect apply and look at that 
very sip very very quick very simple dungeon couple of things to watch out for i'll move over slightly here and show you the issues um, if you draw an object uh, just fill selected and then you draw a polygon yeah and you draw a circle I'm using the ellipse tool now they've got three different objects there and if we hide the walls and find out which one this one here is there's the other wall there we go we'll hide that one drag that up there and then that one there is the floor we can hide that and drag that up We'll just move those out of the way so we can group those together in and call that our dungeon so it's a nice and easy way of um, grouping things together so we've got the three objects here the eclipse the poly and the dirt so if we take the poly and the dirt and we union those together you see it takes the shape takes the attributes it doesn't actually union together the different textures it'll actually one will take on the properties of the other and that will depend on which object you select first so for example uh, we select the the this one first and then that one second it'll take that one first so that one uh, this square here because we select that first will take the overriding control of that there you go and if we did it the other way around this one first then that one then that will get pushed onto there yeah so it depends which way around and same goes for this these circles there so if you union those together there you go we undo that and then select it in a different way around and then union them together as you can see it takes the properties so you're best to start with the one that you want it's, it's not a big deal at the end of the day because you can always go down to your object here right click and go fill selected and it will change it back anyway so we'll union these other ones together obviously you can add more shapes later on and you can decide to union them after afterwards And you still end up with a single shape now the last few can cause issues um, for instance they've got effects on the shape and the edge of the walls so when you union those together the objects take on the effect of the wall as well as not only the color this is um, can be demonstrated by if I do the wood dark effect and go um, is jagged and draw a shape and I want to union those two together because I've got the stones first uh, selected by that then that will take on the effect of the stone and it will also remove the is jagged and also get the, the texture of that one there you go so you can see the jagged effect is removed so you need to watch out for that you also get the same effect um, when you use some of the other shapes for instance if we used puddle this is still called, yeah, still called puddle tool so if we create a puddle yeah and move that to there and then take that and take the uh, puddle tool and union those together ah I see they won't union so watch out for that as well there you go nice and easy ways of creating dungeons very quickly so if we delete that and as you can see our first dungeon 
This was very quick to uh, make up, took only seconds. But watch out for these issues as demonstrated here. So very quickly, easy way to create dungeons is create them as individual objects, union them together, and then add a wall. Hope you find that interesting and of use. Thank you.